Hey guys, it's Dave from TheUnlocker.com, and today, in case you've completely messed up your LG G2, or maybe you just want to start back over from scratch, we're going to show you how to completely unroute your LG G2 and bring it back to factory stock settings. Okay, first up, this will only work using a Windows machine, uh, and this will only also work on the T-Mobile US version of the phone and versions from outside of the United States. Do not try to use this on an AT&T or a Verizon version. It will probably mess the phone up. Next, you need to install the drivers. So you can click on this link here to be taken to that. Save them to your desktop. And then once they are done downloading, like so, you can click that. Hit yes. And go through this process to install the drivers. Once those are installed, you want to download the stock firmware for your specific version of your device. So click here to go to the developer's uh, little repository of that. And scroll down, and yes, again, even though you see ACT and Verizon here, don't do it. Um, I'm using the T-Mobile one, so we're gonna click on that. And then you're gonna download this KDZ file and save it to your desktop. Now this is a big file, so this part will take a while. While that's downloading though, uh, you can download the LG mobile support tool as well by clicking on that link there. Again, saving it to your desktop and the flash tool. And make sure it's the .zip is what you want in here. And desktop as well. And while you're waiting for that to download, you can uh, open the B2C app setup.exe file that we just downloaded. That would be the uh, LG mobile support tool. And we're going to say yes to install that. Wait for that to install. Once it does finally install, it will automatically open. Um, click the disable the screen at startup and click okay. And then we can actually just close this. We just need it to be open. Um, for whatever reason, and hit OK, and continue to wait for the other file to download. Okay, we're just gonna power off the device. And you just keep holding the power button. Um, and wait for the counter to go down, and then hold it for two more seconds past the time it goes black to make sure that it is now, and let go, completely off. Then we're going to hold the volume up button, nothing else, just volume up, and plug the device in via USB at the same time, but keep holding volume up until we get download mode. Okay, we're gonna right click the flash tool, hit extract all, hit extract. Run over the folder and double click up test EXE. Yes. Once it's open, you're going to do select type and do 3GQCT. Then you're going to go to phone mode to make sure it's DIAG. Select KDZ file. You're going to click on that button there. And go to our desktop where we put the KDZ file. Click that. And then down here at the bottom, don't hit start upgrade, hit normal web upgrade test. In this little thing, do upgrade start. When it asks you to select these things, you're gonna say, Republic of Korea, and you're going to say English, and then click OK. And wait for this to finish. And once it's all done, you're going to turn off the device by holding down power. Keep holding it until Get that little screen and say three, two, one, done. Keep holding it even after that screen goes away for a couple of seconds, just to make sure it's completely off like that. And then we're gonna hold down volume down and power at the same time. 
like so until the screen lights up. When it does, let them go and push them again. And you'll be in factory hard reset mode, permanently erased data. This you need to do. So we're gonna push power to confirm this. Press power again. And wait for this to factory reset. Of course, this will delete everything on your device, but once this is all done, you'll be back to completely stock. Enjoy. And there you go. I hope that helped some of you. And if you'd like to check out some of our other tips and tricks or other how-to videos, feel free to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or subscribe to our YouTube channel.